team, I wanted to show you some things that I'm going to be adding to the newsletter today, but also that I'm adding to my display for the holidays. So I made this sign, very simple, and it will be in our newsletter today. And in front of it, I am adding our new wish list sheets, and I'm going to try to figure out how to do those on a half page, but I love them. And I'm also going to put them inside the lookbooks at trunk shows and just have it out so it's just a reminder for people. And then I just took the um, PDF that we had about the gift cards and I put that in a frame. So I'm going to have that out. And I've stacked some boxes just like um, we have in the picture. And I found some silver ribbon. I couldn't find the black, but I found some silver ribbon. And then I've done a couple different versions of it. I also will wrap individual boxes and may even put a pair of earrings on a card in it. And um, with that, I got a great idea last night from a stylist that um, I usually put little tags on it, but I love that she did like perfect for mom, babysitter gift, and I really like this. I can be worn six different ways. So if you put this like on the Zoe Lariat, someone will look at it and then they might ask you questions. So it's a great way to have your um, trunk show guests be interactive with you. This one, it says, I come in silver and gold. So you just don't forget to tell people and then teach your gift. So you can pick different um, pieces that you feel is the right price point or um, that explains it a little bit better. And then the customers at the trunk show will be a little more interactive with you. And then a couple other things, since we have so many new stylists, I haven't done a new video in a while for the team, but this is something I do with my lookbook and I tab each lookbook every season so I do it by group new romantics lace three ways everything that's in there charms and I keep this book with me and if someone has any questions I go to the back and I find the index and it'll say um, let's example of the interlock cross is on page 90 and I will turn it to page 90 and I'll show them the piece, but I'll also then suggest what type of earrings will you wear? Will you wear this as a basic? Will it go with other things? So it's a great way to then turn to the right page and then you will have a nice guide. And I keep that out so customers can look at it as well. And then the other thing is this is from spring, but I took the line sheet, I took it to Kinko's and they put a cover on it and the um, wire binding, it's about $5, but it's a great way if someone wants to see all of the necklaces in one place with all the price points. And then if you do this now and through the holidays, you can even just cross out things as they um, become on the discontinued list. But it's a great way that you can have a snapshot of all the pieces that we have in that category. And customers, again, can use it, but you can too, because we don't know all the prices of everything. And it's better to know the product and what it's made of or what you can pair it with and be able to just check quickly at a price sheet. So I hope these little tips will help you get you through the holidays. And I look forward to sharing all of the success of our team with everybody and look for a new video coming out probably tomorrow about a team challenge. We've been issued a challenge and it's in the newsletter today, but more details tomorrow. So thanks so much and happy holidays, everybody. Happy selling in November and December. Bye.